Hi, and welcome to another video on the channel. Um, in this video, what I want to show you is an app I've been working on. Um, often I find it very challenging sometimes to coach clients online if I can't see what their numbers are on the PM monitor on the Concept2. So I went about trying to find a solution for that. And what I'm about to show you is very, very much a work in progress. It's, um, you know, something that uh, I'm intending to work on some more, but I wanted to share it with you, uh, kind of get your feedback on it and go from there. So uh, if you come over here to the rowing machine, I've got my iPad and my iPhone here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heart rate monitor and connect that there. So give that a second. Let's see, where is it? There it is. So let's connect the heart rate monitor there and get that going. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the app up here. Uh, this is, you know, very basic stuff. It may all change in terms of colors. I'm calling it remote rowing coach at this point. And I'm gonna log in and uh, it's just kind of a dummy login right now. And then I get to choose whether or not I wanna use this as an athlete or a coach. And I'm, this is connected to the machine. So we're gonna connect it as an athlete. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the wireless here. And then you see it shows up right here. So if I scan for it, it shows up with all the machines that are there. I just have this one machine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna show successful on the screen and we're connected. What you'll notice here that is that there's a session ID, all right? And that's the way you can pair the other device uh, with this device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start the app up on my phone over here. Essentially the same app. We're gonna go ahead and log in. And again, dummy login right now. But this time on this machine, this device, I'm gonna click coach. And I'm gonna get a slightly different screen than I got before. And it's gonna ask me here for a session ID, okay? So the session ID on, if I go back over here, uh, it looks like it's N F I C capital B. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in lowercase case sensitive. So N uh, F uh, let's see I looks like it's a capital I, and then lowercase C, and then uppercase B, and so I want to make sure those two are linked up but i'm going to go ahead and save that and now uh, the two devices are synced up and so what's going to happen here is i'm going to row on the machine and start recording data which the app is going to save in a csv format and it's going to upload to the cloud and then this device over here is going to download it when it changes and essentially you know with a little bit of a delay we're going to have two devices that are giving a real time uh, rowing workout. So let's have a look at this. Hopefully this is going to work. I'll go ahead and put my feet in. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull a few strokes. And then if we go over to the other device. go up to the monitor, the PM monitor at the top, you'll see that it's 169 uh, with a heart rate of 90. And if you come down here, obviously that's changed a little bit. If you go down here to the, the phone, you'll see that the uh, watts is 169. I think at the time that it took it, my heart rate was 86. Um, the stroke rate is 21 right there and then down there. And so I think there's some things I need to add to this, um, but essentially you get the general idea. And then there's also, if you go down to the bottom graph, there's the force curve data. So you see that data matches up with what's on the machine. So, you know, real-time coaching of force curve 
uh, just kind of get a sense of whether or not your athlete, your remote athlete is actually connecting well at the front end, how well they're, you know, how well they're uh, driving and, and doing all that. And, and there's other metrics here as well that this is recording like drive time and drive length. Um, obviously I'm trying to tweak what the coach can actually see. Um, and so there's probably more work to do on the coaching device at this point, but at this point it's just kind of a tech demo, um, but I'm obviously gonna continue to build on it and um, hopefully use it for um, you know, my business and helping me coach my clients at a distance when obviously I can't be in the same room as them. And so um, just wanna give you guys an update on that. Um, if you think this is something that you might be able to use, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, and if you haven't subscribed uh, to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more updates I'll try and keep the journey documented here as this app develops and uh, if you if you found that this is helpful leave me a comment or like the video uh, that helps me grow the channel and uh, spread the word a little bit about what I'm doing so thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you on the next one